Hi everyone, welcome to Monique's Home and today we're going to talk about alternatives to saying be careful. So it's easy to get so caught up and to just shout out or blurt out be careful or to stop but instead of telling our children to stop let's look inwards and tell ourselves to stop take a breather kind of relax and really think about what is it that we're scared of are, are they really in danger or are we perhaps overacting a little bit um, and what really does be careful mean will it really tell our kids what to do instead of saying be careful here are a couple of suggestions next time that you're out with your kids what we want our kids to really be able to do is to notice the danger around them because we tell them to be careful because we're worried for them. And the best thing that we can do for them is to help them to notice these dangers around them so that they can find a way around them or to problem solve um, so that they'll be safe. So we help them to use their senses, say things like, do you notice how the rocks feel in your hand? Is it rough? Is it slippery? Is it wet? Do you see barnacles? Do you see how sharp these barnacles are let them listen to what's going on around them do you hear water rushing because if water is rushing then the rocks are probably slippery do you hear the wind howling do you see the trees swaying because if the wind's really hard then maybe you might get knocked over so help them to notice their environment and to see the dangers for themselves number two instead of saying be careful is to suggest what they can do whenever we say be careful it's so vague they we tell them to be safe but how how can they be safe? So be specific, be concrete. For example, again with rock climbing, because my kids love rock climbing at the beach, you can say things like, why don't you use your left hand to hold on to that big rock or use your right foot to step on to um, the ledge over there. So really direct and really tell them what they can do to stay safe. Another thing is to tell them or to suggest to them how they can go about doing these things. Do you want them to move slowly? Do you want them to move faster? Do you want them to watch their, their step to see where they're going? So instead of, again, being very vague, really suggest to them what they can do and how they can do it. Third thing, instead of saying be careful, is to really help our children become aware of what's going on inside of them. So it's not not just about becoming aware of the environment, what's going on, the possible dangers around them, not just becoming aware of what they can do in the situation, how they can go about it, but really also looking in and seeing how they're feeling. Are they nervous about the activity? And there's just that fine line and striking a balance between acknowledging that nervousness because maybe that's your body's way of telling you that you're not ready for an activity, but it's also um, trying to sort of test those limits and see well you can get over that nervousness by planning and seeing what you can do so that you can limit the chances of you getting hurt so instead of saying be careful say things like are you feeling nervous how are you feeling about the task are you excited are there butterflies in your stomach and really help them to become aware of that feeling to use that feeling to hone it so that they'll know what their body is telling them and what they can do and what their bodies are able to do in that situation. So as you play with your kids outside, as you play with the children in your classroom, risky play has a lot of benefits. Risky play meaning play that kind of makes you a little bit nervous as an adult, as a parent. But what we want to do is help our children become aware of the quote unquote possible dangers that are in that type of play and really help them and empower them to get to know themselves, their limitations, their capabilities, and showing them how they can navigate through it by really being um, more concrete, being more specific with the things that we say to them. So again, instead of saying be careful, help them to become aware of their environment, help them to be aware of the things they can do and how they can do it, and help them to become aware of the feeling and what their bodies are trying to tell them. So thank you again for joining me today. My name is Monique. Again, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to Monique's Home. I will see you on Instagram, at Monique's Home, at Facebook, Nick's Home. I will see you next time. Remember to make every day your own version of Extraordinary.